Hey riders, how you doing? It's Paul with another ride home review for another Tuesday, another movie. And this week I watched um, Only the Brave. And Only the Brave was directed by Joseph Kaczynski. Um, he is his other doesn't have a lot of uh, films under his belt, but a couple ones that he does have are Oblivion and Tron Legacy. Um, neither one I was a fan of, so this was a different tack for him, but it stars uh, Miles Teller, uh, Josh Brolin, uh, Jeff Bridges, Jennifer Colony, Co Colony, Connolly, and Taylor Kitsch. And uh, the movie is a true story based on the Granite Mountain Hotshots, the very first municipally municipal uh, backed hotshot uh, uh, wildfire firefighting team. And so what did I like about it? Well, first of all, I didn't know anything about this story and I liked I liked the story of the uh, of this group of men um, uh, that do amazing I, I, I just I'm speechless with the work that they had to do um, and I really enjoyed uh, the flow uh, of the fire scenes um, when they and the the use of drones in this film was really cool it used it to a really cool effect and so you could I don't know how to say how to, how to put it. They just they just use drones really well, um, cinemat cinematographically. I don't even know if that's a real word. So uh, anyway, but yeah, the the scenes with the fire was really cool. Um, and yeah, their training and stuff to become uh, true hot shots uh, was was interesting as well. It's such a it was a, it was well laid out in that regard um what i didn't like about it was there uh, the pacing wasn't all all perfect um it, it dragged a little bit um on the character development end of it and uh, so sometimes it slowed up between the scenes of the firefighting and um and there's an issue uh between the characters, I, I don't want to drop it. I've already been warned about spoilers. So there's an issue with some of the characters that wasn't resolved or wasn't really uh, gone into that would have been a good key plot point. Um, so that was some of the, that was a couple of the things that I didn't really uh, care for. The, the core cast was very strong, very strong. Um, and kind of dropped Tan level dropped off a little bit in the secondary cast, but um, all in all, uh, it's a good story. Um, I think it, I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know anything about it, and I thought it held pretty true. Um, it was it was an honorable movie to to the to those firefighters. I thought they they did a good job in that regard. And what to watch for? Um, I know I'm a little biased because I'm a fan, but Jennifer Connelly. Uh, her character was just absolutely. Uh, she did just a wonderful job, and that in that character who really didn't have a whole lot of screen time, but what she did with that screen time was spectacular. And so, if you're a Jennifer Connelly fan, um, and she hasn't been in a lot of movies as of as of late, so so yeah, you won't be disappointed at all. But there you have it. Only the brave. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a it's a really good movie. Um, uh, I mean, it. I don't know if it's Oscar worthy, but um, it's a really it's a really well done piece. Just a little bit of the story structure was a little weak, I thought. So there you have it. Another ride home review. Don't forget to follow us on uh, Instagram, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. You know what? And see you next week. All right. See something good. Bye.